excited to share this week because um, I am actually trying to get everything wrapped up with work this week so I can take next week off. Today I'm trying to start things a little bit differently so I can get a lot of shooting in and then go to the gym later. And actually what I just put on my face is um, a little bit of sunscreen and if you have not tried the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen, I love this stuff. But this week will entail I'm shooting the last few projects I need to get done before we leave next week. I am getting my nails fixed. Um, just trying to get the whole shebang done before leaving on Saturday. So it's gonna be a great week. I'm super stoked. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna finish getting ready so I can head out the door. Let's go get our shoot on. I'm in a good mood. I'm determined. I'm motivated. Also, I kind of have to show you this outfit. It's just like, if I had to put sunshine into an outfit, it would be this outfit right here. So, let's go shoot. Um, I am gonna try to redo those Vera Bradley photos that I did last week and I didn't love. I'm gonna try to redo those, so. Let's go shoot. I'm gonna show you a little behind the scenes on how we do this whole content creation thing, solo dolo. Isn't that right, Felix? Hi, sweet guy. <laughs> I've been in like a Houston rap kind of mood and I think that's why my energy is just like all over the place right now. <laughs> but um, I am on look number three to shoot and it's one o'clock. Oh, it's freaking hot. So we're taking a moment to cool down because I'm about to throw this jacket on. It's one of the outfits that I grabbed from um, the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And while we're doing this, I might as well take off the tags. Um, but yeah, I was in the area of um, my last shot and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna pack this outfit just in case I can find a cool location to shoot this at. And I found this rainbow wall not too far from where I was so I'm like we're gonna shoot this really rad outfit over there and see what we can come up with so let's do that but first I need to cool down before I start an instant sweat in this <laughs> this is why you can't take me anywhere so I just got home from shooting and I am hungry with a capital H. Not hangry yet, just hungry. But I actually have to film a cooking video with Home Chef. Um, so I'm doing a collaboration with them where I don't have to post the content, they just want a cooking video that I create, which is totally fine with me. I love Home Chef. I actually, I'll leave the blog, uh, the blog post I created in the comments or in the description of this video. But um, last year, I actually tested out, I think like seven or eight meal kits on my own and top chef was one of my favorites so working with them is super cool i'm super excited but um i'm gonna wrap this up and start cooking i'll show you some behind the scenes of what i create i'm gonna get a few different types of shots um and then later tonight i'm gonna edit it all together and make it one video smorgasbord type of deal Now it's the moment of truth. Let's see how this was and do a quick little taste test. That is delicious. Also, if you like spicy foods and you happen to choose this recipe, I highly recommend just adding all the buffalo sauce. Mmm, divine. This is why I love Home Chef. Takes the thought out of everything. Food is fresh, it's delicious, it has flavor. And that was super quick, as you can tell. Super, super painless. So. Again, this was the crispy buffalo style shrimp salad. So good, highly recommend. Mm. Now to go enjoy this artwork. If you hear a running noise in the background, it's just our like robot vacuum doing its thing. But um, 
Yesterday was a really busy day of shooting and the original plan was to try to stay up last night to try to edit everything, but I think I was just so tired after the gym and it was storming really bad here in Houston and I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna pass out. So I'm gonna spend the morning trying to get some work done um because i'm definitely more so a morning person and a lot more motivated in the morning what i'm actually doing i'm gonna flip this around in a second i am actually logging in food for my food journal i've been doing this for my dietitian because um, i'm trying to eat at least every three to four hours to make sure like i have something constantly in my system <sighs> looking rough post-workout it's fine it's fine, but I'm actually about to go get my nails done. Finally, I'm gonna sit down and look at some Pinterest inspiration, see what's speaking to me. But if you're ever looking for a nail salon in Houston, I swear by Fizz Nails in the Heights. Um, it's in the same shopping complex as uh, Flower Child, if you need a reference. But every time I show them a design, they kill it and just freehand it amazing so we're going to get these suckers changed and i'll show you what i get next Ooh, she cute nails slayed once again by fizz i got this like really cute pink color on my toes granted i would show you but you know feet content it is just far too valuable and expensive to show for the free <laughs> feet pictures I just get weird messages from people on Instagram um, you know it's one of the beautiful parts of working in social media are the weird creepy comments that you get but on a real note though like I'm not showing you my toes because it's just hard it'll just be hard to show you and just not that valuable but just know they cute too they're cute getting out of the house to get a little bit of uninterrupted work done and I'm heading to a local spot called Brass Tax which it's a really cool renovated building that serves coffee and breakfast and food and wine and cocktails um, and they have Wi-Fi which is a necessity but the setup inside is really cool because it has um, like different seating areas cubbies that you can just cozy on up in um, an upstairs area and then you can also buy plants in there too it's super rad i've been on a serious mental lockdown today trying to get work done because i'm taking next week off the original plan for next week was to go to hawaii um things have changed i will explain that in a second after I show you what's in this epic box because my fellow hat lovers, <gasps> oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear this for the fall. So I will leave a link for the shop um, in the show description and how beautiful, granted the box is a bunch of like confetti. So because this hat really is a party, but one, this color is amazing, but look at this, the inside of it. <gasps> oh my gosh. I cannot wait to wear this for the fall. So I will leave a link for the shop um, in the show description. Starting yeah. this Thursday off with what I'm hoping is going to be my last bikini wax appointment because um, I think I'm gonna finally pull the trigger on laser hair removal, um, which I'm excited about because waxes ain't fun. I'm tired of it. Mm. I'm gonna do that and then I have a quick phone call meeting afterwards. So I am packing up for us to get ready to head out for our anniversary trip, which the original plan was to go to Hawaii, but um, ended up calling off that trip just because there's no easy way to really say this, um, but I know I'm not the only person who has gone through a hard moment in your marriage, which I've had like a few people ask me on social media, like where Layton has been. It's just things have been kind of 
difficult between us and I wanted to go to Hawaii on good terms like that's an epic trip I want to go but I want to go when I'm excited about it um and I just think that we just have a lot of stuff to work on so hopefully that answers a little bit of questions that people have had um but in the meantime I'm gonna finish packing so I can get this video up and edited and rolling so we can start on this week's which will be um we're heading out to Wimberley and so this week's video should be epic because the airbnb that we're staying at is sublime so until next time oh wait and by the way you can always keep up in real time you can always keep up in real time through social media you can find me on instagram at your pal jordan don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss next week's and i can't wait to show you the spot that we're staying at in wimberley